Hey runners, Coach Elizabeth here. Is recovery a priority for you? If so, tune into today's video. I'm gonna be talking about tart cherry juice, the potential benefits, why you might wanna use it and incorporate it into your training, and then offer some practical guidelines so you know how much, when, and what kind. start with a little background on tart cherry juice. What is it exactly? It's one of those things we like to call a functional food, meaning that it has additional benefits kind of beyond just its caloric content. So other ones like berries, turmeric, fermented foods, they give you some of those medicinal benefits without any of the risk of contamination that you'd find in a lot of sports supplements. Tart cherry juice is kind of the new darling in the sports industry to help boost recovery and performance. And I'm gonna talk about all of the benefits and how to use it. So let's talk about the top five benefits of tart cherry juice and adding that into your routine. The first and most widely studied one is giving you better sleep. Sleep is a critical component of athletic performance and it's something that a lot of us struggle to get enough of. Tart cherry juice has been shown to help you get not only more sleep, but a better quality of sleep. That deep REM sleep that we're looking for when your body's really recovering and repairing itself overnight. So in tart cherry juice, there's something called melatonin. We've talked about that before. That helps give you that deep sleep. There are also enzymes in tart cherry juice that inhibit certain mechanisms that block your brain from releasing tryptophan, which tryptophan is really important for quality sleep. So it kind of acts to boost those levels in your brain while you're sleeping and get that deeper, longer level of sleep. So benefit number two of tart cherry juice is that it reduces muscle soreness. Training hurts, right? It's kind of, it's a, comes with the game. It's really tempting to grab those NSAIDs, those over-the-counter pain medications, but as you've heard me say before, they're not always good for you. They can cause GI distress, heart palpitations, liver and kidney pain problems. So instead of grabbing those, that tart cherry juice helps alleviate that muscle soreness by reducing the muscle damage. Next up, we have benefit number three, and that is reducing inflammation and oxidative stress. So when we're doing that hard training, our bodies undergo that cortisol spikes, your muscles are doing the, are tearing and trying to repair themselves. So you have that high level of inflammation. Tart cherry juice can help lower that. Now, a little later on in the video, I'm gonna talk about why you specifically want to take tart cherry juice away from your build and adaptation phases of your training. So be sure to tune in all the way until the end. Benefit number four, tart cherry juice helps boost your immunity. So training and racing puts that strain and really kind of depresses your immune system. The high antioxidants in tart cherry juice help alleviate that stress, lower those cortisol levels, and keep your immune system functioning at peak levels. So tip number five is a culmination of all of the ones we've talked about so far. If you're getting better sleep, if you have less muscle soreness, a higher boosted immune system, then you will be recovering quicker and better. If the goal in training is stress plus rest equals growth, tart cherry juice comes in as that rest component. If you are able to recover faster, then you can get back to training sooner, making those gains and becoming a better athlete at a quicker rate. The analogy I like to use is a dry erase board. So imagine you have a dry erase board full of writing. When you have tart cherry juice, you actually have that dry erase board eraser that you can quick make, take all of that writing off and start fresh the next day. If you don't have the tart cherry juice, you might have to use a hand or a rag and so it leaves behind some of that and it takes you longer to get that clean whiteboard for the next day's training. Tart cherry juice, when used properly, which we'll talk about next, can really help your body to recover better and quicker. Let's get into kind of the nitty gritty, how to use tart cherry juice. The first question is how much? You want to be taking about 30 milliliters or one fluid ounce two times a day. You can either have it neat or you can have it diluted with about 100 to 200 milliliters of water. Now when to take tart cherry juice can be a little complicated. 
The ideal uh, period is a seven day loading phase before your hard training session or event. Now, as I've talked about before, when you're in that kind of build and adaptation phase of your training, which is that kind of middle bulk section, that hard training, we want to avoid antioxidants immediately before and after because those blunt training adaptations. So the best time to incorporate tart cherry juice is after you've done all of your hard training and the hay is in the barn, so to speak. So as you're starting to taper, seven days before your marathon or ultra trail race, or if you're doing CrossFit events, like a multi-day event, uh, seven days beforehand, start taking it, and then the morning of and after to help you get through the event and help recover quickly after. If you're going to be taking tart cherry juice to help with sleep, you wanna take that one hour before bed with cold water. That cold water will help lower your body temperature so you fall asleep easier. If you're taking it for immunity, you can take that kind of as your evening snack or before bed, but you wanna add about 20 grams of a slow digesting protein, that casein protein, uh, to help with protein synthesis while you sleep, and then do that again the next morning to kind of maximize the benefits. Now I want to make sure that you are getting the right type of tart cherry. It matters, it's very important. So the one that you wanna get is called Montmorency. That's M-O-N-T-M-O-R-E-N-C-Y. Think of it like wine. So all wine is made of grapes, but each variety is different. Same thing with cherries, the Bing, the Tart, all that. Montmorency cherries are the ones that you want. They're highest in those antioxidants and polyphenols. Now, when you're looking for this, you can't just you know, pull up to any gas station. I'm not telling you to go get like cherry Kool-Aid. Find tart cherry juice in this form so that you're getting the right kind and quality. So to wrap things up, tart cherry juice has been shown to be beneficial for performance, recovery, and sleep. You wanna make sure that you get that Montmorency cherries, taking it for seven days, twice a day, leading up to your big event. Sound check, one, two, one, two. Hi runners, your nutritionist Elizabeth here. Blech, I don't like that one. <laughs> you too. <laughs> the side company Nate and I are starting for <laughs> tart cherry juice. <laughs> Whole foods really do provide benefits. As <laughs> the research, oh my gosh. Tart cherry juice can help with all. I give up. I give up. I give up. So there you have it. If you liked this video, be sure and click that like button down below. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you use tart cherry juice, if you have any questions, experienced any of those benefits. Subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our videos. And if you click the link down below in the description, you can download our new app that has all of our nutrition tips training plans and workouts all right there available on your phone. All right, runners, we'll see you in the next one.